Today we're playing Kale and Morgana with Alter to Unity. This deck plays understat and expensive units to grow them to stats equal to their mana cost like the classic Mihira becomes a 5-5 and the new Mate Seeker Inquisitor instantly becomes a 4-4 challenger with tough. Morgana is perfect for this deck because he instantly becomes a 5-5 with lifesteal while disabling one enemy unit. Out of the seven games I played with this list, I won six of them, so maybe there's an actual real deck here. Let me know what you think and happy high rolling. Like so smiley seems like a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm rooting for him because of the lineup and because he seems like a generally just very nice person. Okay, so literally the entire ladder is going to be playing this deck now, though, because of that. <laughs> Majin's still in. I believe Majin is out, unfortunately. Oh, you distract the duck is on a 30 stream streak. Oh my god. Here we go. Elder Dragon, Big? I am Yeah, over halfway to 50 for that free VIP. Taste Amasian steel. They're playing big late game decks. Watch me play some Poros and obliterate you. Literally, man. Let me just tip, Sonny. Want to play better at LOR? Play TFT. You're no dragon. Th that's uh, that's been Majin based strat, right? <laughs> it's pretty good. What the hell? I mean, so you play Repost if you want to win like the mid range matchup. The dragon's rage claws to get out. Oh, they have to hand them. My skills are home. They play judgment too. Wow. Just guys, we gangplank. I think for the thirteen months. I think I think it's a smart play, by the way. Um, Repass is really good in the mirrors. It wins the mirror. Yeah, this, is, this is probably not Seku's list. No, it's probably not. If I had to guess. It's Mogwai's list? Okay. So, I mean, we do have to realize that Mogwai's list will probably be a little bit better for laddering, while Seku's list is probably a little bit better in tournament setting. I am watching you, dragon. No thoughts. Head empty. Just block. We don't have the altar. Mm -hmm. Fearsome. 15. Shivana doesn't level. We can do this into Kale next turn, right? Seems good. Just attack with a full board next turn. They don't have mana for Judgment either. Only the guilty need fear me. Okay. All right. Always passing judgment, never looking inward. <laughs> okay, Morgana, flame your sister. Man, this skin slaps though. My God, insane actually. Seven mana mind splitter. That's not fair. Are we close to lethal though? Oh, your frailty. oh my god, we're one off. No, Morgana's a two. Kill Shivana, just remove Shivana. I mean, she's Shaq. I don't think it's a good play. I think if I remove Shivana, I'm like, I'm losing. I'm, I'm, I'm setting myself up to lose. I need them to pay four mana to remove the shackles. Now I take to the sky.
mean, these are stuck for good. They're in there and they're not coming out. Really? Okay. That's a, such a weird card to play, actually. If, I, if, if we get rid of this 10-8, then I can level Morgana with the double Guiding Touch, and then Morgana's level 2 will just deal 2 to their Nexus and kill them. Okay, so they are Knowers, unfortunately. But we have, we have two attackers. We, we should be able to go wider. They might hold up mana for Judgment or something, right? Oh, okay. I need them to tap like under judgment mana. Okay, so they unshackle her. I best dragons. You can't frighten me. All We're attacking with four. Lights. They played a Cloud Drake, so they could play a five drop here. If they play a five drop for four mana, we can single combat a two three. And then we should be winning. Nah, it's another strike, isn't it? Can't do anything else about it. That spell may cleanse Morgana from stun? No, it doesn't. You call that fighting? They're just gonna strike now. They had a spell here. Yeah. I think this is top decked. Which is very unfortunate. It's a really strange play by opponent too to do it like that. Wait, does it oh wait. It levels Morgana, so she goes to five. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! I actually... Oh my god! I almost missed that, dude. God damn! Nice. We got him. We got him. Man, seven mana mind splitter. I gotta tell you. It's pretty good. Sheesh. Wow. What a play. I mean, okay, so repass. I'm telling you guys right now, uh, if this is the Mogwai version, I, I I obviously don't think that my version or Mogwai's version is as like as clean or as like ladder ready as Seku's version because like playing very expensive card doesn't really work. But Rapaz is genius. Rapaz is really smart. Especially because people for some reason have kind of seemed to stop playing Freljord. And I say that as I queue into Freljord, of course, but yeah. Enemy was playing sus, though. What, what was sus about how enemy was playing? I, I don't really see uh, many different lines they could have taken. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. Or passes oh, insane horizon. against freezes? I mean, yes and no. Uh, like it it kind of depends on timing, right? Because yes, it's insane if they freeze you and then you repass, but you don't run into that situation very often. You will usually like use repass and then they freeze you. And if you're playing as Freljord, I'll be honest, uh, it's not very often that their decks actually have less than 3 HP. Alright, well this is, uh, this is not a good spot to be in. Boris. Have a mushroom. Have three. I heard about you. I mean, we can we can get a five five Morgana out soon, or Mihira. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. 
I'm very curious how they attack here. I have one mana, so it could be a elixir. Oh. Do they know? Do they know about the 4 4? They seem to have forgotten. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Happens to the best of us, buddy. It happens. It happens. Oh my god. Yeah, let's just, let's just plop her down. That seems pretty good. That seems just good enough. I'm kind of down to end round here. And then we'll just play another one and win. Like we've we've actually drawn like three shrooms and we're still we were still at full pretty much. I think we're good. I think we're doing all right. Oh, he doesn't have voice lines. Yeah. All right. <laughs> ah, it is what it is, man. Sometimes you just have to Teemo, Snow Dog, and then the Puffcat Peddler curve, and then you still lose. That happens sometimes. Sorry? Oh, oh, is this Trickster sorry? <laughs> but why is he apologizing? There's nothing to apologize for. Masters? I mean, that's okay. I only have PNZ, but they are so Yeah, they're apologizing for playing this deck, I guess. <laughs> he watched Worlds? I think Sorry played in Worlds. Apologizing for playing Iodia makes sense. Actually, it makes sense. It's kind of respectable. He played and lost. Mm. Iona does not deserve this much hate. Yes, they do. They don't, they don't, they don't get enough hate, actually. I think that's a bigger issue. They deserve even more, exactly. We're not making them feel bad enough because they keep coming back. They keep playing these decks. Templing. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. We did not get our explorer. Anyone gathered here is an enemy of the crowd. Beg for mercy. The horse to button. Your wickedness shall not prosper. Alright. I mean, losing the temple, it, like, it sucks. Sorry, but it's not yeah. the end of the world. Because we didn't really have any units to use on it, right? Janna, I answer. Spell mana. Very interesting. And we have the Guiding Touch? Uh, it's pretty annoying still though. Yeah, these are just not good cards. We draw all our early game. So if they have a good turn here, like with Set or something, we might not win. Want a piece of me? Line starts here. Hmm. Ours is the one true light. No holds barred. Welcome to the arena. I play Karma Set. I played it once because I lost the bet. Yeah. It sucked. Uh, 
Yeah, now the Rangi Explorer is pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. They have to use this now, though, right? So this is technically lethal, even though it probably won't be. The block here, it's still lethal. Not another step. Man, I feel like everything was against us there. They played a three-mana set. But here we go, man. Just play some Boris and win. Yeah, just like that. That's why that's why I think Sunken Temple is so miserable. But it, because it's pretty like it's pretty likely that last turn they had an actual answer, and then Sunken Temple discarded their hand, they got more cards, and then, you know, nothing, probably. So even despite everything, I just kinda like kept my units alive really well. Um, I, I really want Alter to Unity. Alright, thanks game. You know what I find really interesting, by the way? That Alter to Unity would probably be okay in Morgana Mordekaiser. Because Mordekaiser becomes a 7-8, whatever. But Rekindler becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven. Morgana becomes a 5-5 five, five there as well. They have Mace Seeker, also becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Um, the Spectral Iron Hound becomes a 6-6. Six, six, with the thing they summon from it becoming like a... 8-6 or something? I think it's interesting. Like, I think there are a lot of synergy points for Alter in this deck. Weirdly enough. It'd be cool one of. Yeah, I think. Yeah, exactly. A cool one of. I think you could you could like argue for a two of because there are a lot of synergy points, but I don't think you ever go more than that. Yeah. Board, sp board space is a thing. Yeah. Board space is definitely a thing. Grizzled Ranger would work well with Arc Altar. Grizzled Ranger becomes a 4-4. Four, four. And then the boars you get from him is just a 3-4. Not the worst. 3-2 fading icon. Okay, you're you're not thinking big enough, okay? Rekinder is a 7-7, seven, seven, dude. Spectral Iron Hound? 6-6. Six, six. No one is beyond my reach. No one. Mihira. Mihira dies, though, to a Death's Grasp. Frey is 1-1? No, it's not. <laughs> Unlucky. Wait, our hus husks are 1 mana, right? If you play Altar with Evelyn, all your husks are 1-1s. One hmm. Ah. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. Siren Song Evelyn? I sleep. Alter to Unity, Evelyn. Real shit. This will hurt a little. And this will hurt a little. <laughs> Why does he talk like that? Nobody talks like that in real life. Nobody. This will hurt a little. Yeah, I gotta get rid of that thing. I kind of hope they tap out so we can play Mihira and start... Like, if this gets one proc, it's good. Like, if they play the Iron Hound, yeah. Oh, yeah, this becomes an 8-6, and this becomes a 6-6 with Alter. It's, it's kind of cooking, man. It, it's kind of cooking. Uh, So they get Mordekaiser now, which is bad. I should have played this. Every mage must face their cries. Because even if they don't have Mordekaiser, now they can Vengeance to Mihira. So maybe the Mihira just kind of pops off. I think I'm... Yeah. I'm expecting them to have Mordekaiser. But if they don't, then... Yeah, maybe. I am not done with you. That's really powerful, though. That's why the Iron Hound is so good, man. Be not afraid. Be not afraid. It will all be over soon. I think we just kill the stuff that gives them most value from resummoning. So we'll kill these two so they can get like a million cards. 
it's it's a lot of procs for Mihira. But we are not gonna have an answer for Mordekaiser. Okay. Cannot break a shattered soul. And then the hate spike. Chad, is he done? He is not done with you. So, uh, for for the people that weren't aware, I'm actually gonna share it really fast. If I can find it, new emotes. Okay, so these are the new emotes we're gonna commission. We have Mister Thrift Prage. We have Chip Please, which is a dancing chip. We have uh, Timo No Weighing, The Voice is Mordekaiser, and Fiddle Copium. Uh, this one is not sure, but uh, there's going to be a Mordekaiser emo pretty soon. Into the dark. I do not fear them. I have Lil Fish, Steve Fish, Jam Lil. Yo, Sphinx, think about 43 months. How are you doing, buddy? How's TFTing? I think Morgana actually does nothing for us. Okay, and then we'll play Boris. Big Boris. Oh my god. They didn't play suppression. Can we win though? That's so greedy, dude. This is good. How is LOR going? LOR is amazing, actually. LOR is like the best it's ever been, pretty much. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Are you winning, son? I don't know. I, I I don't know right now. I have no idea if I'm winning. It doesn't really feel like it. Raran video when? I'm I am bombarding my editor with video projects. Uh, the first one coming out is Elder Dragon Path Champion. The one after that is Raran. It will probably be a week, but uh, I think Raran is uploading. We, we always upload two videos, one on Raran's channel, one on mine. I think the one for Raran will be coming out in a couple of days, if I had to guess. I bear your sword and a noble purpose. Tis I play now, dear one. Poor editors are slaving away. Yeah, no, it's true. Uh, I, 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 I do have a couple of editors uh, working on the videos. Marshall helps me out from time to time. Uh, Shadoka does the gameplay videos, and then I have Blue Chaman, who does the bigger projects, like the Path of Champion video. He's been starting to do collabs, too. Uh, so, like, Shadoka, Shadoka just, I've been working with Shadoka for two years now. Shadoka started working for me at the start of 2022 to do gameplay videos. It's almost been two years that Shadoka's been editing the videos. And, like, Shadoka, Shadoka's my rock, you know? Without, without Shadoka, there, there wouldn't be anything. So Shadoka just kind of knows exactly what to do. But Blue Chaman I work pretty closely together with. And Lazarus does the, uh, yeah, so Lazarus does Snooey TV. But Lazarus is just like, works by himself, I guess. Laz getting bullet. I mean, Laz doesn't really work on the main channel. Laz literally has like Snooey TV as his own channel at this point. I'm <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I mean, listen, man, it takes, it takes the same amount of trust, Lazarus. To just give you a channel and be like, here, do what you want to do with it. <laughs> it's not bullying, okay? I'm fine, I guess. Okay, I'm sorry, Lazarus. No, no, you, you do deserve a little more respect than that. <laughs> I find mages are like weeds. Best of rooted. Your predilection for cruelty will haunt you one day. I am your darkness. I am your truth. Did they take it for granted? No, no, no. I, I, I don't. Like, I have to be honest, though. Like, Snoo TV is almost completely out of my hands. And that does feel really nice. Holy fire will cleanse the evil within. Holy fire, burn away the darkness. I, I'm happy with the, the spot that Sweet TV is in, though. Like, the videos are doing, con like, very consistent. Like, they get around, like, between 10 and 20k views. And then sometimes, like, when I upload a uh, Path of Champion video, it's, like, around 50k. It's, like, it's it's really nice. So familiar. I am not done with you. 
Okay, but you're stunned. This gets shackled. I think, okay, I want to end the round with the Mace Seeker Inquisitor to secure the win, right? So if we do this, we force them to get rid of it. And then we want them to spend this to get lifesteal. And then if they don't have mana, we win the game with Mace Seeker Inquisitor. This is, a, this is an interesting game, actually. We, we were navigating it pretty well, but... The only thing that matters is getting the Behira to stick. So, like, don't ask me how that happened. Don't ask me how we got this Behira to stick for, like, a million turns. Feels nice, though. It does. Would you... Would you not unshackle the Morgana here? I feel like you would. No half mask can hide the torment you're truly in, Klaus. You're just a mere conjuring. Go away. So this guarantees that they lose, right? <laughs> That's so freaking funny, dude. Because now they go into their defending turn not being able to use this. So it's guaranteed that we win with kill or Mihira. It's a lockout. They're locked out completely. Right? God, suppression feels so satisfying to use. It's insane. Oh my God. Bro, suppression, big brain card. Yeah, they can't do anything. They can't do anything. We would open attack and they couldn't use any spells. The, the kill would just slam dunk their nexus after that. GG. And that's, that's, that's really cool. That's nice. <laughs> hey, it's a good start. <laughs> here's, uh, here, here's a sketch for, uh, for Chip, please. <laughs> he needs more ass? He kind of does. Dumpy, as, as they would say. Okay, um, Sollies, how do you feel about also doing Fiddle Copium? Is that, do you think you could make a Fiddle Copium emote? Because I'll, I'll probably uh, commission uh, Football Head as well for the other three. But if you if you have an idea for Fiddle Copium, I'd be more than happy to uh, see your take on that. He needs you to summon a landmark so he gets dumpy. <laughs> That's actually... <laughs> Everybody's gonna, like, spam that emote. <laughs> as soon as Chip gets plus two, plus two. To the stars. How the uh, TF would well, a mask even fit... Yeah, I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Yo, plop. Think of it in 19 months. Raise your weapons, I love Worlds. Way. Yesterday, I was having so much fun play or watching Worlds, too. Oh, I hope that was not... Good steel and a good future. Mm. Finally, want to show you something. You don't love to see that. Stupid. Could have been worse, I guess. Other than Victor, what champs do you want unrotated? Um. Do you want Victor come back? To my dying breath, I, I think it's like honor, fair if you say that. Victor wasn't very fun to play against in the Seraphine list, where they only care about, like, Victor giving them more discounts. I liked Victor for the augment keyword and the random keywords. I didn't necessarily love Victor for, like, the level 2 discount everything by one. Because it is, like, possible to get pretty degenerate with that, you know? Um... No turning back now. The other champion I would like to see come back is probably Aphelios. But I also think that is pretty unlikely. Like, I, I'm not going to say Zillion or something, right? Because as much as I would love to have Zillion back, I, I just don't think it's happening. Uh, I, I think Zillion is very limiting in, like, the design space. And I, I, I think if Time Bomb Printer ever became good, it would be a very toxic environment to play in. No one plays Victor for the Agua part, that's not true. Victor Riven has been a very good deck for a very long time, until they nerfed Coral Cannon. It, 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 was, my, it was, like, my go-to deck if I wanted to climb. Is it possible to show you my deck? I don't do deck reviews, but if you, if you like, tell me what your deck is about, I'll give my take on it. Yeah, v Victor... Victor was a thing first. With, um... With Augment Riven. And then later on, when Seraphim was released, that's when it became, you know, what we know now. Why do you think Braum had to go? Was it a summoning aspect? That's actually a good question. I think I think it might be because of the uh, 
No, it makes no... Like, I, I wanted to say, like, maybe it's a snow dog, because if, if Omenhawk and snow dog were planning on getting buffed, like, when they were planning rotation, a single buff on Braum is really scary. Like, a 1-7 Braum can absolutely take over the game, right? But it could also have something to do with Poro King. Braum was in 80% of Freljord decks, bro. I don't know what Freljord decks you've been playing against. So, yeah. <laughs> I cannot remember that part. Yeah, I mean, I'm not blocking this, dude. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I know what you got coming for me, man. I know what that is. That that that's the freaking double attack thingy. I'm not I'm not blocking that. Where was gonna blow me the hell out with that? I know my purpose. So um. Okay, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Kill is probably better than the mate seeker. Because Kill gives us this, which means that a double attack on Riven might not immediately kill us. On the other hand, an anonymous gifter has just gifted five tier one subs to Sunny's community. Anonymous gifter, that is insanely kind. Thank you. No one is beyond my reach. Very, very kind. I really do appreciate all the support lately, guys. It's been insane. Like I had some. Uh, I had some really bad setbacks last month that had me very stressed, but this month has been insane. I'm actually able to pay, uh, like, the bills that were stressing me out last month. Thank you, guys. I don't really talk about that at all, I guess, but I'm just grateful. Thank you. I play double attack? I don't know what else this deck could be other than, like, the OTK Riven version. Make sure Sunny can survive. No, Dragon Master, it's been, it's been insane. It really has been. Thank you. I mean, this is another Riven down. Do they deal? Do they have any deal too? Like if they if they kill me here, then Riven dies too. And if they try to set up, we have to Scholarly Pioneer to stop them. What cannot be redeemed shall be immolated. Double rolling death with Rudo. I don't actually think it matters that much. Like, even if they kill this, if we force them to use stuff, and we just use Scholarly Pioneer to disable their Overrealm. How many how many fragments do they have? They use two? They use three? This thing has never died, right? One, two... I think they have one fragment right now, and they get another one here. Okay, so they must be trying to kill us one way or another. But now they have to set everything up again on a new unit. Next turn, we have 10 mana, so we could just kill. My blade will bear a new legacy, I hope. The first time I'm equipped. This implies that they run a weapon. Holy I think I'd still rather have within. this. A clear mind. Bear your sword and is gonna popping off, guys. Oh my god. Now, dear one. Will it you Bear witness. Oh, oh my god! Right, a recall. Oh my god. How frail mortality, how impure and wicked. Be not afraid. For me. Oh. oh, wait, do we have a hundred percent win rate with this just pile of junk? I guess it's not a pile of junk, it's the sister deck. Oh no, we lost one. 
There's so many of them. I think Sunny should make the Shaq and Kobe comp from TFT set 4 with Ziggs and Melfi. What was set 4? Set 1 was like base TFT, then we had the elemental stuff. Then we had space. What was set 4? Faded? Oh. I don't remember that at all. Oh, was it? Wait, no, that wasn't Odyssey then. What, Ours is the one what, what was Melfi and Ziggs? Like, I, I, I keep track. I keep I kept up to date pretty well with like what's going on in TFT. I always look at the sets. It was what, so set five. Wasn't space set three? Am I losing it? What have we here? Oh my god. See big. Your student, is this deck working? I mean, we won five out of six games. Let's investigate. Pretty good. I, I don't like playing this when there's flash bombs in our deck. <laughs> oh, if mushrooms could talk. Don't like it. Do not love it. Okay, come on. Not okay. Only the guilty need fear me. We won five out of six games, so yeah, I don't I don't really know why. I don't really understand it. But I guess we cooked. Are you gonna play Shadow Character Glasses Transform deck? Jesus, that cannot be the official name for that deck, man. Uh, there was a little fella asking for me. Shadow character glasses transform deck. That's a mouthful. They grow up so fast. That's like pretty good damage. It's called a faint special. That works actually. Are we playing the faint special? I think Caitlyn is more likely to kill us. I like it. If I if I die to shrooms, I die to shrooms, man. Is Nidalee rotated out of Santa? No. I, I highly doubt that she will be rotated next year either. Hmm. Bless the people and what does Shadow Character Glasses Transform deck consist of? It's the it's the Nakutak with the new weapon that transforms a follower into another follower. We don't have any boss for our units. And kill could get frozen. I have to pass here. Like I could do this, right? Truth, guide my sword. Because then if this gets frozen, at least kill doesn't die. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, the only reason I'm doing it is it's so like they can't block here. One off, but there was no way to get it. You know what? Don't those you know what know card would be good here? City. Yadulski Snow Dog. If we could play the Snow Dog in this deck, it would be the best deck in existence. Oh wow! Wait, that was actually pretty lucky, wasn't it? Oh my god, wait, so lucky. Alright. Closing in on the mark. No backup needed. No backup needed. Hot on the trail. Yudilski becomes a 2-3 with Alter. Actually, you're right. 
stab buff like there's anti synergy. I I I think I just really like to have like consistent buffs if we whiff on the uh, altar. They're gonna unshackle for four mana. Okay, what we can do if they unshackle is we'll block Caitlyn with a 3-1 and then we'll single combat the 3-1 away. They unshackle and don't do anything? Hmm. I will fight with you, but I will never call you mother. And I would never ask you to. These, uh, these give us shrooms in our deck because of the peddlers. <laughs> That's so stupid, actually. If they only use one, yeah. That's a single combat, right? Truth or it's a uh, harsh wind? This is a uh, harsh winds for sure. Careful now. Turning yourself in. I have to try it. If we had a form up, I think it would be very good for us. How much damage do we do? Six. We just die here if I do that. While you're still young, mortal. Wild. Couldn't do anything about it. Truth binds you. It's just like, yeah, that's why a form up would be good because we could have formed up this, <sighs> right? And then if something happened, I had to go for it anyway. I had to go for it, no matter what. My light shines just and righteous. Another stun is huge. Morgana created this card. We just used the last turn, it got shuffled to the top. They grow up so fast. What's up, Snoopy? After rolls, you're gonna join us in it's hardcore with us during the downtime. I you gotta like message me individually because I will I will just not remember ever. <laughs> I think this might be even better, right? I think this is the best option. More shrooms. <laughs> yep. Even more shrooms in a deck now. Not on Shackle Team. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Have a mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. I'm not going to draw. Feels pretty dead here. They also draw two cards against our one. I have done in your name. Five. Four. I guess they didn't have anything. Our they could have made me sweat for like two more minutes as I figured out that turn, but I guess they just didn't have anything, man. They didn't even want a mind game, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Thinking outside the box, Zillion Victor, Time Bomb Printer, One Two Pop, Meta Shifter, Not a Quitter, Fight.